What's going on YouTube? I am uh, fishing a new spot. And uh, it happened off camera. Uh, walking up on the shoreline, I spooked a couple of snakehead. I uh, currently got a bobber and minnow in the water now. Got to get my rod set up. Um, and I'm hoping it's, uh, I can come out of here with some, some good sized snakehead. So uh, stick with me. Uh. I think I got something's attention. Yeah. Well, my frustration has turned into uh, happiness. I missed the frog. I missed them on the frog. Uh, it's multiple ones in here. And uh, the good old minnow came through. It was a big minnow. Took it down with uh, just fierce. It's about a... Uh, Two, three pounds maybe closer to three but uh definitely hit it hard hit it hard feels great to um catch snakehead in a new spot um so I'm, I'm definitely excited and this is why i fish for them snakehead i'm um i'm gonna throw this one on a stringer but um not sure if i'm gonna keep them yet but if there's one, there's gotta be some more. Man, I'm happy. Just a nice hefty, thick fish. There's nothing. Well, I lost, uh, I lost one off camera because I left my rod and went to go grab my equipment. And by the time I came back, it had took my minnow and was down stream somewhere. And 
I was never able to set the hook, so I got off. But in doing this kind of fishing, um, it's key, it's important to pay attention to uh, the shore. Uh, if you see a lot of uh, small fish, uh, the parent is probably in the area and they're, uh, they're in cover and they're protecting their young. And that's why I set up here. Uh, so that's, that's very key. Pay attention to the shoreline and kind of be as quiet as possible because these snakehead are easily spooked. I left my rod, but I'm gonna wait here in case so I don't do a repeat of what I did earlier. Missed him. I missed him. Snakehead, but uh, it's I believe it's small and it just keeps taking. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Thank you. 
Well, there you have it. Uh, right behind me, behind the camera, I just saw another uh, surface hit by the snakehead. Ideally, I want to get them on the top, top, uh, top water frog, but I take them anyway I can get them. This little snakey had just hit. Took one of the minnows off of this one here. I'm hearing activity over there. I'm hearing activity over here. He's this one says a little bigger, but not by much. Not by much. Bigger, but not by much. Wasn't ready for him to go just yet. They're getting more active, but they're still on the uh, smaller side of the totem pole. But I take the action. Just gotta get back, just gotta get a little bigger. All right, buddy. Ladies and gents, I'm wrapping this up. Uh, slow but the activity again is picking up which is great but too many misses today too many glad to have caught the biggest one i've caught this this year so far still early of course april but um just left a bad sour taste in my mouth today i'm gonna try to get back out here tomorrow but with the weather being uh 10 degrees colder and overcast I, I don't know yet but we'll see um working and fishing in these in these cramped areas again it's, it's so important to have um multiple options which is again why i fish with um minnows and um bobbers because you it's hard to cast 
we got trees and everything around so that makes it a lot more difficult but the fish that's where the fish are so you got to do it anyway uh thanks for supporting my channel uh stay tuned for another one until next time keep it fishing